In this example, we're going to look at a keep or drop decision. We're going to look at first whether we should keep or drop a line when it's only affecting that one segment of our business. And then we're going to look at a keep or drop decision when what we call they have complementary effects, meaning that by dropping one segment of our business, it's going to affect the other segments of our business. So below is a segmented income statement for Hickory Company's three wooden flooring product lines. So we have the strip, the plank, the parquet, and in total. So they've broken it down for us. Um, again, the contribution margin um, income statement. So we start with our revenues minus all of our variable expenses to get our contribution margin. And then we have three direct fixed expenses, which means they are directly linked to those specific segments of our business. So we have machine rent, supervision, depreciation. And they give us the seg segment margin for each one. So in this example, they have asked us, to refer to that information above, and it says that Hickory's management is deciding whether to keep or drop the parquet product line. They tell us that Hickory's parquet flooring product line has a contribution margin of $50,000. They tell us that all variable costs are relevant, meaning that they would differ amongst alternatives if we chose keeping the line over dropping the line. They tell us that the relevant fixed costs associated with the line include 80% of the parquet's machine rent and all of the parquet's supervision salaries, meaning that 20% of that machine rent will be there regardless if they keep or drop the line. So 80% would go away if we drop it. Same thing with the supervisor salary. They're telling us that all of that supervised salary um, is relevant, which means that it differs amongst alternatives, meaning that we'd have to pay that supervisor if we kept the line, but we would have to eliminate that supervisor if we dropped the line. So they're asking us to list the alternatives being considered with respect to the parquet flooring line, list all the relevant benefits and costs for each alternative, and which alternative is more cost effective for the company and by how much. So again, here's that information broken out by each segment of our business. And again, we're looking at potentially just getting rid of that parquet line. So we're looking at just those costs. So we need to look at whether we're going to keep or drop the line. Those are our alternatives. So question number one asked us what those alternatives are. These are the only two options we have. We can either keep the line or we can drop the line. So it then asks us for our relevant costs and benefits. So what is relevant in our decision making? So they told us that our sales, all of our variable components, they told us were um, relevant to our decision making. So if I keep that parquet line, I get to keep $300,000 in revenue. If I drop that line, I'm going to lose $300,000 in revenue. For our variable expenses. If I keep the line, I have to pay out as the company $250,000 in variable expenses. Things like direct labor, direct materials, variable overhead, variable selling expenses. If I don't keep this line, if I drop the line and stop selling parquet flooring, I'm actually going to save $250,000 in terms of variable expenses. So when we look at our contribution margin, if I keep it, I'm going to have a positive $50,000 in contribution. If I drop it, I'm going to lose out on $50,000 in contribution margin. Now we have to look at our relative fixed components. So they said our machine rent is relevant to us but they told us that only 80% of the machine rent is relevant, meaning that 20% we're gonna have to pay whether we keep that line or drop that line. So it's irrelevant to us. So there's $50,000 in total for machine rent and only 80% is relevant in our decision. So if we keep our parquet flooring line, we are going to have to pay out as a company $40,000 for machine rent. If we drop that line, because remember, these are direct fixed expenses, they're directly related to that product, we're going to be able to save 
$40,000. They told us that the supervision is also a relative cost. So if we keep the line, we have to pay $20,000 to the supervisor that is supervising the parquet line. If we drop the line, we also drop the supervisor and don't have to pay that $20,000. We also have depreciation. We know that depreciation is never a relevant cost for us because it's what we call a sunk cost. And sunk costs are never factored into our decision making whatsoever. So now if we look at this, if we keep our parquet flooring line, we're going to lose $10,000 for that segment of our business. If we drop that segment of our business, we will save $10,000. In this case, what we are sacrificing and what we are sacrificing is that $300,000 in sales and that $50,000 in contribution margin is less than what we are saving. We're gonna save ourselves $60,000 in cost, so the cost savings outweighs what we are sacrificing by $10,000. So our decision in this case should be to drop that product line because the company overall will save itself $10,000.